There are two different sides to negotiation. There's the analytical science of negotiation, and then there's the behavioral art. Everybody gets the analytical side. Anybody with an analytical adult brain who is got a brain can probably get uh, the analysis of the variables right, they can look at the variables, count which the trades should be, and maybe even get the timing right as well. That's all something that suits our intelligent minds. The thing that people get wrong seems to be the art of the behaviours. The behaviours are a complex set of tests and signals, and it's very important to get that right, otherwise all the analytical side is a complete waste of time. There are a couple of very common misconceptions, one of which is that if you create a mood of honesty, that suddenly people will start giving you things. Wrong. If you're dealing with professional negotiators, they're going to lap that up, love the mood, and take more off you. The other thing is that there's a, a misconception around timing. The belief is that we'll get things done quickly. Let's just do it quickly, get the deal done. We can enjoy Christmas and the whole plan for next year is going to be sorted. Getting the deal done is never going to happen. It's a fundamental rule until the last minute because a professional negotiator is going to wait until the last minute because that's when you'll be starting to get desperate if you're not a professional negotiator yourself. So when you add all of these things together, people throw everything that they've got into the front end of the deal <laughs> lay it all out on the table, which we keep hearing on TV, and as a result, when the professional negotiator says, no, that's not enough, they're actually left with no variables to work with, nothing to break the deadlocks, and they've already blown it, and all they can get is a worse deal. You have to understand the game that's been played, not just the analytical side and the variables and how much to trade and when to trade them, but also the behavioral side, how to pick up on signals and how to test people and understand whether it's one of these situations where you're in for the chop in any case or whether you can hold out and they'll give way at the last minute. It's the whole combination of the art of the behavior and the science of the analytics, bringing it all together. Once you've understood that, you should be able to have a lot of fun with negotiation and it doesn't all need to be aggressive.